Imagine in an environment where there are newly built devices that are not reflected in the console. What could be most common reason that we are going to see in this particular video? We are going to cover two main topics that is creation of boundaries and boundary group and second is how to enable AD system discovery. If you are new to this particular channel then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. This is your host Yagnesh Malavia welcoming you. So the first thing that we need to see is our boundary. For that we need to go to administrations. Within that we will see hierarchy settings in that boundaries and boundary group. So right now we don't see any boundary that is set and the device that we are having is this particular device where the host name is FCCL01 and if I check my IP address which is 192.168.10.10 so let me to, to my console and over here I will create a boundary and I will be creating a subnet boundary I will mention over here IP subnet and here I will give subnet ID so 192.168.10.0 as you see over here the IP address is this and for this particular IP address is belongs to slash 24 with this particular subnet mask we are able to understand that and that particular subnet ID we are giving it over here so I will apply it okay and now I will create a boundary group based on this particular boundary so I will go to boundary group I can do a right click create boundary group or over here on the top left create boundary group so over here I will create a boundary group boundary group one in here I need to add the boundary which we set over here in the boundaries okay and then references over here is saving use this boundary group for the site assignment I will say as a tick mark yes and this particular server name with site system server so we need to select our configuration manager server which is cm01 okay i press apply and okay so if i need to see the logs i can go to run i can open this particular host name on the, as a network drive so fccm01 and in this there is a shared drive in this logs and over here hman will provide a good information about the boundaries so we will see over here the timing 856 29 so recently there is an update done over here and if we scroll a little up we should see successfully updated so as you see over here sms site cm01 is successfully updated so we created a boundary group and we have assigned and it is successfully done so now we move forward and the next thing that we are going to see is we need to get our device which is cl01 as you see on screen on our console so right now it is not visible in the asset and compliance device cl01 is not present so to get that we need to configure our site discovery so i go to administrations pane in that hierarchy setting and discovery methods over here and currently system discovery is disabled so i go to right click properties and i give a check mark for enable active directory system discovery over here we need to configure it by giving the path 
so i will give us this is a domain path where all the active directory container objects which are in this particular domain that will be searched so i'm giving this particular path and if i need to exclude any of the particular discovery then i can define that part however i don't want to exclude so i will be not giving any information over here i will just press ok so we have configured it if we need to further define polling schedule so how often we need to enable this delta discovery that is the time then other attributes that we need to have it that we can define so options for the only discover computers that have logged on to the domain only discover computers that have updated their computer account so further options we can define i will just press apply we will get a pop-up do you run a full discovery as soon as possible i will click yes so that the discovery will start and what all devices that are present should be populated in our devices and then okay also alternatively we can do it over here on the active directory system discovery right click run full discovery again do you want to run a full discovery as soon as possible by clicking yes it will again discover so both can work out now we will go over here in asset and compliance devices we will see devices available over here earlier it was not available that's the way and also if you want to see the logs then within this particular site server in the logs we can check adsysdis.log and over here we can see that there were communication that was done we can search that particular host name which is discovered and you see over here DDR was written for system so and so this is the host name that we are having it out so now we have done with the second thing which is enabling site discovery so these are the two main components if in case the devices are not visible make sure boundary is set up and second thing AD site discovery is there so that the devices get discovered once it is done in the next video, we will see how we can deploy the clients on this newly built devices. So that's the learning that I am sharing with you guys. If you like the content that I am sharing, then please like and comment your thoughts on this particular video. Also, if you are yet to subscribe, then please subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. This is your host, Yagnesh Malavia, thanking you for watching this particular video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.